Hello! I was really pleased to see that my previous Swedish video was so enjoyed, so I thought I'd make a second one. I hope my Swedish teachers aren't watching this. But then again, the grades are already given. So in my previous video, which I will have linked in the description box, I shared with you some Swedish words that are words in English, but they just don't really have the same meaning. I've got some more for you, so I thought I'd share them as well, because it's interesting to see how it does not work. <laughs> it does not work. No, no. So the first word is pick, but it means dot in Swedish. So, yeah. Another word is slut, and it's spelled just like the word slut, but if you want to offend someone, you should use a different word, because in Swedish it means the end, or end, or finished. Another word is dog, and it's spelled just like dog, but it means died. <laughs> Another word is full, which is just the same spelling as full, but if you ever hear a Swede talking about how full they are, they are drunk. Another word is fuck. It's not spelt like the English word. I know which one you're thinking of. <laughs> it means compartment, so your bag can have many fuck. I'm trying to think of things that have fuck, but I can't, I can only think of bags. <laughs> Camp. And no, I did not offend you because I said the Swedish word, which means edge. I hit my toe on a cunt once and it really hurt. Yes, you know when you bang your toe, your, your, your baby toe, not baby toe, your little toe. And you feel like you might actually pass out. Excuse me? If you hear a Swede talking about bad, about just like the word bad, it does not mean that anyone's bad. It means bath. Someone can take a bad, take a bath. But bad can also mean begged, prayed, and it can also mean pleaded. Goods. It's about just like gods, but it's not gods, it's goods. So if you ever hear a Swede talking about gods, they probably aren't because most of us are atheist. And in my previous Swedish video, <laughs> <laughs> and in my previous Swedish video, I mentioned that fart means speed. My last word for you is infart, which means entrance to the motorway. It's, it can also be in, an entrance to like a different road or someone's drive is an infart. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Don't know what I'm talking about. I thought that in this video we could touch upon some sentences that Swedes so very often use. The first sentence, or jävlar i havet, which translates to, if you want to translate it word by word, which is a lot more fun, it means, oh fuck, in the ocean, which would be used if you are Surprised, scared. If someone scares you, it can be like, oh, you have bloody harvest. Or if you drop something. Fins de jätterum, so fins de jätterum. Which translates to, if there's heart room, there's butt room. Meaning, if we like you, we'll make room for you. Borta bra, men hemma best. Away good, but home best. So, home sweet home, basically. Har man sagt A? That translates to, if you've said A, you've got to say B. Don't be that twat that starts saying something and then kind of trails off. Well then, don't start the story and then not get to the point. You know? Det finns inga dåliga väder, bara dåliga kläder. Which translates to, there's no bad weather, only bad clothes. All the teachers would say this for field day. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Teacher, but the heavens have opened up, leaked through my raincoat, and my socks are soaked. So don't cry when half your class are homesick with a crazy cold because you forced us 
into the downpour. All I wanted was to stay inside and pärla pärlplatta. Nu är du helt ut och cyklar. Translates to Now you are completely out and cycling. Which means you are on the wrong page completely. Completely lost. We weren't even talking about that. Something completely different. What the hell? Skadeglädjen är den enda sanna glädjen. Which translates to Shade and fraud. Shade and fraud is the only true happiness. Which speaks for itself, right? And you might have noticed that my name was in that sentence. Not only is Sanna a name, but in the Swedish language, Sanna, Sanna means true, truth, or real. So with that said, I think I'm gonna have to end it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Take care, bye.